Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a Chris Kindle Christmas, celebrating the birth of Christ in the Christmas markets and churches of Germany and Austria. In the words of a favorite carol, Edeste Fidelis, O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and adore him, born the King of Angels. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Our Chris Kendall Christmas begins in Salzburg, where the dome overlooks one of the most colorful Christmas markets in Europe. The heavy snow falls as the adults and children enjoy the shimmering Christmas booze, the homemade delicacies, and the joy of the Christ Child season.
Not far from Salzburg is the small village of St. Gilgen. We visit and play the organ of the church that was important in the life of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Five kilometers from Salzburg is the village of St. Gilgen. We paid a visit to the church of St. Gilgen, which has a special connection to the family of Mozart. And I would like to introduce you to the organist of this beautiful church, Wolfgang Mosgasner. Thank you so much for allowing us to play the organ and be here in this wonderful church. Can you tell us why there is this connection with Mozart in this church? Of course. Thank you for your visit. The connection of the church to the family of Mozart is in the case that the grandfather of Mozart and the grandmother of Mozart were, uh, had, were married in this church. The mother of Mozart is born here in St. Gilgen. It's near to the church, an old house. And uh, the sister of Mozart had, was married in the church and stayed for some years here in St. Kilgen. Mm -hmm. the, her husband has his uh, grave in the church mm -hmm. and the grandfather too. And you, I understand, designed this beautiful new organ, although the, the prospect or the facade of the organ is quite old. The facade is, uh, I would say, it's a remake, uh -huh. but it's similar to the old organ, which was in the church, but it didn't play anymore. And in the year 1991, we rebuilt the organ in case of the 200th anniversary of the death day of Mozart here yes. in St. Kingdom. And Wolfgang has presented to me a very special plaque in commemoration of the building of this organ. It says the Mozart Orgel, 1791-1991. And we thank you very much, Wolfgang, for allowing us to be here and hear and play the beauty of this organ. I thank you too, and I'm so happy to have had the possibility to hear you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
From St. Gilgen, we travel to Oberndorf, another small village not far from Salzburg. Here we visit the site of the origin of the most famous Christmas carol. In Oberndorf, Austria, 20 miles from Salzburg, we find the Silent Night Chapel. Here in the tiny village of Oberndorf on December 24, 1818, Joseph Moore, the priest of the village church, asked the organist Franz Gruber to write some music for a poem he had written for Christmas. Franz Gruber did so, but when he arrived at the church that night, he found that the organ was broken. So the two gentlemen, the priest and the organist, perform Silent Night together for the first time, accompanied by guitar. The priest and the organist never realized that this gentle, peaceful carol would become the favorite throughout the world. Our Christkindle Christmas takes us on to Munich, where the intriguing glockenspiel overlooks the bustling market. The children gather at store windows to wonder at the happy displays. In our Chris Kindle Christmas, we visit Munich, 
and the Christmas markets. Munich is a wonderfully charming 800-year-old city and is the capital of Bavaria. At Christmas time, the city comes alive with a town square filled with the sights and sounds of Christmas. Our Chris Kendall Christmas tour finally arrives in the ancient and picturesque town of Rotenburg, Germany. Rotenburg, Germany is a fairy tale town. The town was founded in 5 BC and is the best preserved medieval town in all of Germany. This ancient fortified town is surrounded by towers, ramparts, and walls, and is especially magical at Christmas time. With the lights and music of the season, the streets and shops twinkle with delight. The warmth of the Christmas season is felt especially in the Christmas market, where once again we find regional color, gifts, and delights of every kind.
Gothenburg is one of Germany's most photographed towns with such picturesque sites as the Castle Gate, Roder Arch, Mark's Tower, many beautiful churches and towers and ramparts. One feels surrounded by color and history, a most fascinating place. We were delighted to play the organ at the Francis Connor Kirche, which is the oldest church in Rotenburg. As in other towns of Germany and Austria, the Children's March, held in the town square, celebrates the birth of Christ. Each child carries a lantern made in school to bring special honor to the Christ child. As night falls on Rotenburg, the lights of the town glisten as the snow gently falls. Such beauty brings to mind that small town long ago. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Diane Bish and the Joy of Music 
wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <laughs>